All right, uh, welcome back to Chive and Fishman Play. I am the Fishman. Hello, hello. And that is Chive with the wrong accent for this accent, <laughs> I think. <laughs> discount, uh, discount Michael Caine. Um, it could be. Yeah, so we're back to uh, some six. Some men just want to see the world burn. <laughs> Master <sounds>, Wayne. <laughs> that kind of... I don't know, the way you said it sounded like toddler Michael... Michael... I almost said Michael Wayne. <laughs> I am your father. Oh, man. So we're back with uh, Civilization VI Rise and Fall, playing through at Scotland, as Robert yeah. and Bruce. Currently, just because I'm not touching the mouth, I'm vigorously picking his nose. Mm. He's helping me. Fact, yeah, he's kind of doing all the work, you're just kind of there. He's doing all the work. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh uh, yeah, last time... Oh, go ahead, go oh, ahead. I was just gonna I'm say sure it's very important. We're just talking about how kind of angry he looks. He looks a little less angry in this, but like... The Opening crawl, he looks very pissed. It's like, come on, what do you want? Independence? You know, um, he's sort of... I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, um, How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, uh, he, no. He kind of looks like, um... Hiccup's father. Oh, what is his name? Uh, Belch? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's... it's I think his name is an adjective as well. Well, I'm pretty sure that... Can't remember, um, but... I'm pretty sure that... What's the guy's name? He, uh, oh shoot. He used to do late a late night show. Oh, Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson yeah. is like the producer on those movies, right? He, uh, I think he may have produced, but he was also, yeah. he was also, um, one of the characters. Okay, so he's in, yeah. He, he, he trained the, the, the kids. Oh, I see. How to fight and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. When Gerard Butler played the dad. <laughs> gotcha. So, like, all the Scots of Hollywood. Basically. I don't think Sean Connery is coming out from his, uh, his mansion at this point in his life. Which is fine. Is he a Scottishman? Oh, yeah. I thought he was Irish. Nah, but... Oh, no. I'm thinking of, uh... Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Liam Neeson, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Is, uh, Once yeah. again, we have the opportunity uh, to enhance our power. Oh. Okay, so where are we? So <laughs> What okay, are we doing? We're just jumping back in, because here's, we got a governor. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay, we want to give him this bonus. Again, yeah, the governors are a new thing with Rise and Fall, uh, which hmm. I'm still kind of getting used to. Uh, it's not really anything that's been in the Civ series before. Uh, one of the things that's weird, I know we kind of went through them last time, but that they're very, like, uh, I don't know. They're very specific, like, they have a name and everything, like, a lot of people said, like, maybe just to have generic names like or, um, you know, like, based on what sim you are. Yeah, no, they seem pretty diverse. Yeah, I mean, which, I mean, is, is fine, but it's like, this is a what seems to be an Indian gentleman in Stirling, Scotland in 1780 BC. But again, these games have never that, really... That, um... These games have never really... Doesn't seem before. right. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. Um, so, last time, we were kind of cut off abruptly. Yeah, um, his, I had uh, some... internet shut to bed. Yeah. yeah. Which, I found out that it actually... Uh, didn't. Oh? It was the, uh, internet provider's fault. Uh, oh, when, really? when we signed up, uh, for our internet service, uh, apparently someone on their end didn't finish, uh, going through and completing all the forms or whatever. Oh. So, we were only technically on, like, a week trial of... Uh -huh. So, it just happened to be at, like, 10 o'clock that night. While we were recording, they're like, "No, you're you're done now." <laughs> oh, that's enough for you for the night. So the next night, 
I spent like an hour on the phone trying to tell them what had happened. Oh yeah. And, but uh, everyone on their end was real nice about it, so. Pretty understanding. And I think they refunded me like 50 bucks too, so Ooh, I was kind of happy about that. Oh, what's happening? The poles are moving in. Well, oh, those Polish damn bastards. Moving into our neighborhood. We're not going to let them play in all our golf courses when they get here. Those, those gosh, gosh darn s s skis. Ski oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I thought you were going to go with slobs, but skis work. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, don't be so fucking... He's being very, like, passive-aggressive. Yeah. They... They usually are in these... You and your sharpie on eyebrows. Don't give me that. <laughs> Who is this guy again? Uh, Who's... So, what do we want to do next? So, we, the wheel. we were uh, trying to go for a scientific victory, is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. That is the plan. Uh, let's go build it. Fix this quarry that the horsemen destroyed earlier. Um, I'm thinking we want to found our second city soon. Mm. Uh, so a big part of this game is like choosing where you want to found your city, especially where you have districts. Now we could, um, what is this, this like a mountain range? Oh no, see this is a natural wonder. Ooh. There, there were natural wonders in Civ 5, right? Yes. Okay. Um. There was, um, like, Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore, you know, natural wonders. <laughs> no, no, uh... <laughs> oh, God. My brain isn't working There's tonight. There's a lot, right? Mount Fuji. That was Mount one. Mount Fuji. Right, 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 right. Um... Sharpie. Yosemite. The geyser of Yosemite. Yep, yep. Old uh, Faithful. Old Faithful, right. Yeah. I almost said Old Glory, but that's not right. Old that's Glory. Like... This will inspire oh no! Else to continue to pray What's happening? Towards a path of your oh choice. no! Time has come to choose. The forward, and the... So this is a new thing based on this is a new thing with Rise and Fall. So you know how in Civ Five and all the other ones there's, there's Golden Ages. Mm. So this takes that concept and kind of amps it up a little bit uh, because there are still Golden Ages. Uh, but there are also normal ages, which is basically nothing new, but also dark ages, which is what we just entered. Oh, so not a good thing. No, not a good thing. Um, mm. we, okay, so I can choose one of these. What do we want to focus on for this age? So we'll go with the science one. We have fallen into a dark age. Though our cities will face loyalty challenges, with enough effort, we should be able to rise right. out of this dark yeah, age. Yeah, okay. So the thing about dark ages is that they are bad. Uh, the biggest thing is that your cities lo lose loyalty, which means mm. they basically have an option to rebel. Um, not great. Not great. Uh, like, seeing as we only have one city, it's probably fine. May the forces oh, of evil become confused. Um, <laughs> The other thing is that you actually um, get rewarded if you come out of a dark age. Oh, okay. That's... that's something. You can kind of turn it around. Alright. Um, what do we want from you? Go ahead and do horseback riding, because we might grab this with our next city. Alright, let's hope that the poles will help us with our uh, barbs here. You know, it's just a scout. Oh, okay, and you remember this function, right? The Pantheon from Food 5? Yes. Um, what do we have? I usually went with the religious route, because I played the Celtics. The Celts, right. Um, and they're very religious. Yes, a lot of faith bonuses to the Celts. Um, mm. So... Let's see, what do we want? We grow our city? Lots of uh, we only have one quarry, right? Two quarries. Oh, two quarries. Let's do the quarry one. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. What do you What do you think the Scots would most go for out of these? Don't circle. 
Well, I like it. Stonehenge is from is in England, I think. Too bad. England, Scotland, basically the same yeah, variety. Basically the same. <laughs> no controversy. Oops, what's this? Did, Did you, you say no compliment? Oh, I said controversy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, the poles chase them off. The giant pole sticks. Looks pretty much the same as our people. Alright. Uh, let's clear out this in here. Right? Oh. Oh. I didn't even know we had a second warrior. Can't be. What happens when you guys Oh, good. Back? I have so much faith in us. Yeah, we're doing alright so far. Okay, we want to repair that. I'm going to town. The, uh, Polisher. Kind of expanding. They're the roasting, aren't they? The the yeah. Get out of our neighborhood. Alright, good. We made a little So this is this is how you get out of a dark age. You get you basically do historical things mm. and they bump up your era store. And you gotcha. bump it up enough, you get golden age. I like this a little bit. Visitors complain about the heat of Sterling, but at least it's a dry heat. Oh, apparently that was a, that's founded on a desert. I didn't realize that. Hmm. That's a little desert. It's a dry heat. Alright, let's get a government. Oh. Um, we don't experience dry heat that much. No. I don't think they do in Scotland either. I think that's the exact opposite of what Scotland is. Yeah. And people that I know that have gone great. there. Um, you and you get a wild card now. Oh, so see, now you can do. Um, these are all Dark Age specific policies. When oh, I see. They, yeah, they basically have like a really high bonus, but they also have a negative. So we're mm. going to go ahead and do this because we have a sign. Maybe that'll help us. I don't know. Who knows? We'll Who knows try it out. Happens? Oh, hey! Scotland adopts governments of... What is that? Oligarchy. Uh... Did you just cuss at me? Did you just cuss at... It's oligarchy. Leading <laughs> to a new political age. And look, we even got these little friendly lions. The two-headed lion. They're the lion... They look like lions crossed with golden retrievers, more or less. Yeah. Um, but they're happy to see us, so that's good. <clears throat> but those are like the lions you see, like, as like gargoyle lions. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, that's it. Oh, hold on for a second. I probably should, we should probably build another settler. The only problem is the place I want to settle is crawling with barbs. We might like, go. Might want to go west build another. Again. Yeah. Uh, warrior or something. Oh, hello, scout. I think this is a small map. Mm-hmm. So we only have to meet, like, three more people. Oh, shit, more barb. Bar, 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 Oh wow! We Low boy. Low boy. The horse got away. I mean, the little animations are kind of cool in this game. Hmm. Cool lot of detail in that. Yeah, bur bid bid off gives 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 gives. It's right on our doorstep. Hmm. Hello. Oh shit, son. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically. We've been taken over. <laughs> 